So I am continuing the Egyptian Heaven and Hell by E.A. Wallace Budge. And as much as this is a reproduction of the three parts, the book of Yom Dawat, which is the first section, I am not going to just show you the pages as I read, as I would with some other books that were printed much more recent. But the content of the book is not subject to copyright as such, and this is a religious presentation, so there's more leeway in what I'm doing, so I'm not not as worried about that sort of thing. Um, and so the second division of the Thawat, which is called it's a difficult one to pronounce, but Ernest, they forgot the sh at the end, and there should be two R's. Pronounce it correctly. And the second scene that shows the second division of the Dawat, which is passed through by the sun entity during the second hour of the night, you know, because there's 12 divisions of the day and the night. Uh, 12 divisions for the night, 12 divisions for the day, depending, uh, no matter how the length are in, you know, the mystical way of thinking, this is how it's done. The night, the day could be two hours and the night could be 22 and you're still looking at the same. Um, the day, the night could, you know, you could be at the northernmost part of Alaska and, you know, there could be two months without any day or two months without any night, we're still sort of looking at the same thing going on, but their mythology is, is a bit different than African mythology now, isn't it? Um, or at least the, what remains of the, of the older time. The boat of the ram-headed Yuf is seen making its way along the stream, which flows before, through the division, lengthwise. The crow consists of the same entities, and they occupy the same position. The crew consists of the same entities, and they occupy the same position in the boat as, did, as they did in the first division. It is, however, important to notice that immediately in front of the Yipt Oat, we see the two serpents, which are called Isis and Nephthys, respectively. And Septip, um, I'd, uh, perhaps for Isis, Nephthys, this, I'm not sure exactly how those terms are pronounced. I don't see the glyphs for them. And you hear the Greek or Latin or Englishized versions of things so much that you tend to forget. So I'm sorry if I don't immediately have the... But I know raw is pronounced ra. You got to go ha ah, constrict the top of your throat when you say it. Or you're referring to something else, which I don't remember what it is at the time. Occupying the front of the boat, no carpet or mat hangs over the boats of the boat, and the Achat is not represented on its side. The boat moves over the waters by means of some power exerted either by itself or by some of the entities who stand before it. In front of the boat of Yip is the way led by a procession of the four boats, which are moved presumably by the same power which moves the boat of Ra. The first boat ends, which terminates in bearded human heads and its celestial and solar character is tested by the sign of heaven, but, and Achat, the 63 64th symbol, yeah, that, that I thing is a fraction, with its sides are ornamented, or with which its sides are ornamented. The object of this boat is support, support the object of this boat is to support the disc of the full moon, which rests within a crescent upon a support, divided into thirteen sections, each typifying a day. Thus, the full moon as it appears on the fourteenth day of the month is, is here represented. By the disk kneels an entity who is supporting Maat, which is symbolized by a feather and described by the word Maat, perhaps. I, th I think that there's reason to think that we extend the mat because hot and perhaps ma ma hot ma 
Mot. So double. Ah, ah, ah. Written between it and the support of the moon's disk. In the mutilated text above the boat, it says, This great entity... Oh, well, the power or whatever. This great power approacheth this region and is conveyed along in the boats of the earth by means of their... And he paddleth along through this field and uttereth words. Kind of like Satan going about and uh, kind of like, like the devils of solar worship going about and particularly noticed at the sunrise, midday, and sunset. So there's secret demonic words being said when this goes on, perhaps. Maybe in a demonic language. The name of the forepart of the boat appears to be and at the front of the boat is written the chief of the entities of the Duat, Dapu, Duat, Dapu is the, you know, you know, it starts with, the, the, the D is, is this, it's not a T, it's a D, and that would mean chief, and the variation is just plain Dup, Duat, because it's a long A, because we have the vulture. The hieroglyphics above the full moon read, Yipu Rux. Oh, Yip Rux. Oh, I forget the second part because it's on the second line. Okay. Yip Rux. Ma. Field of him that beareth up the. Run. W R R. -r, 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 -r 